Yo, what's up guys, Supreme here, and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to use motion track templates. Um, this was requested, well not really requested, I saw in the comments of uh, Get Semantics video some kid saying that he wanted to know how to use them perfectly without error and everything. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. Um, this is what usually comes with your motion track template. If you're lucky, sometimes they include the uh, motion sequence, uh, image sequence, sorry, but uh, if not, you know, uh, it's really easy just take this first things first you take this and you go into Sony Vegas and you want to render it as an image sequence so to do so you just go file render as and you click image sequence and TIFF and make a folder because as you can see it makes like, a lot of images so you just like save it there render it and then once that's done you can go into your uh, Cinema 4D file, so you open it up, and hopefully it won't take too long. I thought I had opened it up, but I guess not. Okay, so um, as you can see, I uh, accidentally saved it. So it, normally you'd have a background and a image for background and floor, right? So you have to first of all delete those two that should be right here, and then you want to go and uh, double click on the texture thing which will make a new material double click on the material and go to the part where it says texture click on that and uh, you want to go to wherever you saved your sequence and pick the first one so you click open click no and then after that you're going to have to go back into it go to animation and calculate so that's fine just close that drag it onto your background and drag it onto your floor but as you can see if you're going to render out the floor it's going to be a little million little images so to fix that you just go to floor click on the image and instead of flat you put it to frontal <coughs> sorry about that and as you can see it's perfect now uh, you can also change the text by just clicking on them and changing them here and you can also switch the lighting up by, well, this is how I do it. You just go to coordinates and you copy paste these to the lights so that they come here. Because doing this, like, it just messes up your uh, your video. Because then you have to fix it and everything, whatever. I, I don't bother. <coughs> so that's basically it for how to get the um, how to get the uh, black text away. So another problem people have is the rendering. So these are my render settings. If you want to pause it or something, I don't know. These these are my render settings. I don't know if they're the best or anything, but they work for me. And then you want to go to save. This is the most important one. You click the three little dots, and you want to pick where you want to save it to. I'll save it. Like, make a new folder again. I'll save it right here. And call it whatever you want. And make sure your format is to AVI movie because or else, uh, well, I don't know, let's just make it the AVI movie or else it won't make actual movie, it'll just be pictures. And I don't know about Alpha Channel, I uncheck it. I guess some people check it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So then you can just click this and it will render. So I'll be back in once it's done rendering. All right guys, so the render finished. Um, I'll show you a preview in a sec, but I forgot to mention, you can also change the texture here of what the text looks like by just deleting this and getting whatever text you want from here and just dragging it onto the text. Um, that's basically it for the tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to uh, leave uh, questions in the description and I will try and answer them all for you. Uh, I click this load. So this is how it turns out. As you can see, everything works fine. Uh, looks good. Alright, so that's about it. See you guys.